Hi guys, today's video is another one where I am taking you through some of my collection. So we'll start off with the Hourglass Primer. I just use one pump of this and I just dot some and rub that in. And when I put primer on, I usually just let it sit for about a minute or two, just so it melts with my skin. Those of you that have seen my other videos know that this is one of my favorite primers alongside the Tom Ford one. It's the Traceless Soft Matte Primer and also the new Dior Velvet Primer that came out. That is really lovely too. And between the two of them, I'm not quite sure which one I like the best between this one and the Dior one. The Tom Ford one is different because for me, I find that a little bit more mattifying. So when I need something, if I'm wearing a foundation that's a little bit more glowy and I need a foundation that just gives my skin just a bit more of a matte finish before I'm about to apply that foundation, then that's the one I use, the Tom Ford one. And so I'll just take a pump and just a little bit more of the Makeup Forever, the HD Skin. I did a video on this last year and I compared it side by side with a foundation that I've had for many years, about 30 years, and that's the Essay Lauder Double Wear because I think that they both give a very, very similar finish. This is a really lovely foundation. So I'm just using a Sonia G brush just to put this foundation on. I use a brush to put this on or either a beauty blender or beauty sponge. And I didn't mention the shade that this is in. This is in 2N22. And I think this is a pretty good match for me. And I would say this foundation is a medium finish, probably a strong medium finish. But I just love how it looks on my skin. I think it looks really, really lovely. And of course, with my oily skin, I just love it that it helps keep those oils at bay. So today I'm just looking out the window. There is a beautiful blue sky out there at the moment. It is lovely and cool in my room. But when it hits about, from about one o'clock on, it starts to get really, really warm and really humid. And there's really no way that I can film when it starts to get that warm. Because once you add the lights that I have in front of me, it just gets really, really hot. If no one's at home, I probably could because just outside the door here is the living area where we have air conditioning and I could put that on and then have the door open and that cool air would come in here. But what I've found during these warmer months, I just tend to do my videos just early in the morning and really I prefer it anyway. I am a real morning person. I'm not an afternoon person. <laughs> at all. I really love the evenings and I really love the early mornings as well. So that's with the foundation on. It looks really, really lovely. I think it gives a really beautiful finish. And I do like the finish in that it's medium. So I can still see a little bit, a tiny bit of redness through here, a little bit of my sunspot but I'm not gonna add any more concealer over that. But you can if you want to, and you could also add even a little bit more foundation if you wanted more coverage. But I quite like it when a little bit of my skin is just showing through as well. But I think this gives a really lovely finish. So I'm just gonna take the Sublimage Concealer, which is one of my favorites, if not my favorite concealer. This is in the shade 30. And I'm just going to take the little applicator that comes with it and I'm just going to dot some through here. I've probably put a bit too much on the little spatula, but I'll just wipe some back in. I just think this is such a beautiful concealer and I love the finish that it gives. And if I tend to take too much concealer out, and that can happen because it's in a jar, 
and I just find that even if there is a little bit too much that it never tends to look really thick or cakey which can happen with some other concealers I think this is really lovely I think this is beautiful for mature under eyes and I'm not talking about eyes that have fine lines I'm talking about eyes like mine that have wrinkles and this is why I love this concealer it doesn't tend to look cakey or thick it's really really beautiful eyebrows are done and I've also got eyeshadow primer on and I just lightly powdered over the eyeshadow primer and I've also got powder under my eyes as well so now I'm just going to pop on the Chanel the natural finish loose powder this is in shade 30 and I'm just going to tap a little bit of the powder into the cap I'm going to take the BK Beauty this is the 105 and I'm just going to swirl that into the lid I'm only going to tap a little bit of this powder on since this foundation it isn't a flat matte foundation but it isn't a glowy or dewy type of finish either so I really only need just a little bit of powder and I've been using this brush quite a bit recently to put powder on and I really like it it's really big and it's lovely and dense but it's also really soft as well and I think it's really lovely for putting powder on and then I'm going to take the Chanel it's the Labeige's Healthy Glow the bronzing cream and this is the lightest shade so it is quite a warm shade and again I'm going to take a BK Beauty brush and this is the 106 and this is quite light for me this bronzer but I do think it gives a really beautiful warmth so I just swirl the brush in and just tap it on so it's more subtle I also have this in deep as well and I mentioned when I was selecting it that I finally picked up the medium shade as well so they will probably come probably either late this week or early next week and I'm looking forward to trying that out I find I can use the deep bronzing cream as well but I like this one too I think this is really really lovely and I really like applying it with this brush I think helps the product just go on really really beautifully so I'm just going to put a little bit around here as well so for the eyeshadow I'll start off with the holiday palette this is the ombres de lune and I'll probably just be using one shade from this and I think I'll use this brown shade here so I'm going to take the Rafa number 14 brush and go into the shade and I'm just going to put some of this on my outer corner so because I'm using that Chanel the lac the liquid eyeshadow as well when I use liquid eyeshadows I like to use a matte as well you could just use the liquid eyeshadow all by itself but I just like to put a little bit of matte eyeshadow just in the outer corner and a little bit in the crease and slightly above as well that's just my preference just to mix both of them but I think the liquid eyeshadow would look really lovely by itself as well and then I'm just going to take the Sony G the pencil one and I want to put some of the shade just on my lower lash line as well now with these Chanel liquid long wear eyeshadows I bought the shade and it's the only one I've got and I bought it quite a long time ago and then I put it in my drawer and I saw a couple of reviews on it and the ones that I saw people didn't like it they didn't think it applied very well so the other day I decided to use it for the first time 
and I thought it applied really, really easy. I also thought that this gave a really beautiful look as well. Now, I don't think that the shade is available anymore. I think this might have been a limited edition. This is in the shade, it is Ore Amber, and it is a really gorgeous shade. I'll just swatch a little bit on the back of my hand so you can take a look. I think it is really really beautiful and I think it's going to go lovely with the brown eyeshadow as well so I can't quite remember what people didn't like about them I think people thought maybe they dried down a bit quick and you couldn't blend them out very well but I didn't find that at all I think these are super easy to use and like I said you can either use this by itself or just pair it with a matte eyeshadow like I have and it's just a really simple quick look this is the other thing as well the two times that I've tried this I just loved it and it lasted all day I don't find that it creases and I think that it's really flattering on my mature eyelids as well so all I do is I just take the little doe foot applicator and I just place some through here and I just take my Sonia G brush and I think that this actually blends out really, really beautifully. It doesn't go patchy or anything like that. And how it looks when I first put it on is how it looks at the end of the day as well. They are long wear and I think they're really beautiful and they have a sparkle in them. But it is, I think it's quite a subtle sparkle. And for me, I think this is more flattering on my eyelids than, say, a really super pigmented metallic eyeshadow. I think this is really, really beautiful. So it's really as quick as that. And I just think it is a really easy eye look. So now I'm just going to pop some on the other eye. I just place it on and again it's gonna blend it out using the same brush so the swatch that I put on my hand this has now dried down and this is why they last so well but when I was putting it on my eye I definitely have enough time to tap it on and blend it out I don't find that they dry down too fast and I think they look really lovely what I'm going to do I haven't done this with the other two times that I've used it I'm just going to put a little bit more on the back of my hand and then I'm just going to take the Sonia G the pencil one I'm just going to wipe that down and just pick up a little bit of that product I put on my hand and I'm just going to put a little bit just through here as well now one thing when I applied it the other two times and also today I did one eye at a time and put the product on and blend it out and then do the same with the other eye. I wouldn't put product on each eye, spend a little bit of time doing this one and then move to the other eye with the product that's already been on there. I think possibly then it might dry down and then you might have trouble blending it out. So it would pay to do one eye at a time because like I said, the swatch here has really dried down and I just love it that they are long lasting and they stay looking really beautiful like this. So now we've got the Tom Ford blush. This is one of the shade and illuminate ones and this is in 01 and this is Brazen Rose. I love this shade. I think it's really, really beautiful. So I'm just going to take a Chocohodo brush. And what I do with these, you can either just sweep between the two. I tend to start off with the darker shade. And pop some of that on. And just slowly, just slowly build it up. So I'll just go into that darker shade again. This is quite... A soft brush and then I'll just go into the lighter shade here and I just put 
put that over the top. And I always use the two shades together. I think the shade is really beautiful by itself, but this over the top just gives it that little bit extra and I think it looks really, really beautiful. So I'm going to take the Chanel Longwear Lip Pencil. This is in the shade Blood Orange. And then the Rouge Allure Velvet, and this is in the shade Dante. And I bought five of these shades, and I did a video on them, I think it was last week. And this was definitely the brightest shade out of the ones that I got. It is a really beautiful, like a fire orange. I think it's really, really lovely. And then finally the Mistyor. This is the Eau de Perfume. And this is a really lovely floral. It's a beautiful light scent, especially for this time of the year. And I just think the bottle is really lovely. And I love the little ribbon on here as well. I think it's really, really gorgeous. Gorgeous. So I think the finished look is really lovely. The other two times that I wore the liquid eyeshadow, I wore a more nude lipstick, but I love it with this orange, the new Chanel Allure Velvet one. And I think that these lipsticks are really comfortable to wear. And I've said it before, but lipsticks don't tend to last on me very long. But I find that I get three to four, maybe four to five hours out of this. But they do also leave a really lovely stain as well. So I love this liquid eyeshadow. I just think it's really beautiful. And I rang my Chanel SA, I think it was yesterday or the day before. And I ordered two more shades, and there's another two that I want as well. I just think they're outstanding. And they are flattering on mature eyelids. They don't emphasize the texture on your eyes, but they give this really beautiful sparkle. And if you've got oily skin as well, they are super long lasting. And as good as this eyeshadow looks now, will look good later this evening when I go to take my eye makeup off. It really is long lasting and I'm just in love with them. I think they're really beautiful. So I'm really pleased that I finally decided last week to pull that liquid eyeshadow out and play with it. You just never know. It just depends on reviews. I'd really put it to one side in the drawer and not even bother to try it because I thought, oh, it's just going to be really disappointing. But for me, I just find that they are really, really lovely. And the whole look together looks really lovely. I love the blush and the foundation is just perfect. It's now a little bit later in the morning. Things are starting to warm up and this is going to be perfect for a warm day. So I'm really pleased with the whole look. I think it's really, really lovely. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>